Hello. Welcome. I am Lillian and I will be your guide today on this astral projection uh, experience. So, um, I hope you're ready. Are you nervous? Okay, a little bit. That's totally natural to be a little nervous the first time you do an astral projection or attempt it. So, um, before we begin, I really wanted to, you know, clear up some of the stuff you may have to ask me about. Like, um, you know, are there any risks uh, combined with, you know, astral projecting? Are there, you know, what is it and how can I, how can I do it? And... I really wanted to explain so that you can sort of let go of those thoughts, maybe some of your fears you have um, that are connected to astral traveling, astral projection, and you can imagine that basically we have um, two bodies. We have the physical body that you can feel right now the body you were born into, the body that connects you to reality, to earth. And then we have the astral body, which is the psychic body that can travel everywhere in the world and universe it wants to. And um, what connects these two bodies is the silver cord. And the silver cord will keep you safe and connected to Earth during the astral projection that we're going to attempt a little later. So you don't need to worry about losing touch with reality or anything like that. The silver cord will provide you with a safe guideline back to your body. And um, also the the thing we have to be very aware about when astral projecting is that the attraction between the physical and astral body is extremely strong. So your astral body will, when you go to sleep or try to relax, um, the astral body will want to jump back into your physical body and that's when we must learn you will learn the session hopefully how to control your mind how to control your thoughts and how to be extremely alert and you know just force your willpower through and make sure that you can actually go into your astral body and you know break loose from your physical body and um, you can just get back, you know, it doesn't take a lot. It just takes a thought to get back to your physical body. So no matter where you will travel during um, the astral projection, you can just think about, I want to get back to my body and you'll be back. So, <clears throat> and there are absolutely no physical risks. Uh, when astral traveling at all or astral, pro astral projecting it's completely safe even if you have like a heart a condition or no matter what your illness is it's perfectly safe for you to astral travel and um, the silver cord like I said before will provide you with a safe line back to your body so you just have to think about it and you're back. In the beginning when you start projecting you might find yourself, if you're successful at it of course, you might find yourself getting um, like you suddenly find your body in outer space or um, you know when you travel with the speed of light and you cannot really control the way you travel or how quickly <laughs> it goes and how fast you are or how slow it is but 
when you come back the next time and um, we'll con continue practicing on that so that you gain even more control of your mind and practice is key when astral uh, projecting and that's really all you need to do to be able to control you know the mental chatter in your brain because that's really all that is disconnecting you from freeing your physical uh, freeing your psychic body your astral body and um, let me see um, other things that you need to know here okay so basically the thing we're gonna approach to do today is to have you enter the vibrational stage and the vibrational stage is basically um, like electric uh, impulses, feelings of electricity in your body. And if you feel this, please don't panic or anything. It's a completely natural reaction because the electricity actually means that you are successful and you're doing it right. So don't worry and just go with the flow and the trick is to constantly be uh, a spectator to your thoughts, a spectator to the whole experience so that your mind is conscious while your body is totally relaxed and it's um, a dreamlike state. So um, like try to just go with the experience and you will uh, successfully astral project maybe just for a few seconds um, but still you did it and you'll be able to next time go back and you know take it from there develop your psychic abilities and go even further so how are we gonna get to the vibrational stage well we are firstly gonna relax your body completely and we're gonna do this um, by meditating and I will guide you through a meditation that will you know connect you to earth to you know your root chakra I'm gonna be focusing on that today and if you don't find the root chakra to be so you know powerful an experience or meditation for you maybe you want to meditate on one of your other chakras and just imagine you know just imagine that you're connecting to the chap the chakra that you are connected the most to and maybe it's not the root chakra but maybe it's the heart chakra or the crown chakra there are seven different kinds so you might want to check up on what sort of chakra that you're connected to and when we've meditated you're gonna go into like a sleep paralysis and the sleep paralysis is basically you know when you feel like you cannot move and don't panic about this because right after the sleep paralysis the vibrations come on and just constantly gonna spectate your body while it goes to sleep so that your brain is alert all the time and if you fall asleep it's okay since this is um, your first time and you can just go back and try it again but then um, when the vibrations come on don't be afraid and just stay calm and from there you can actually astral project so if you're ready let's start the meditation and be sure that you're wearing some comfortable clothes and okay i see you brought them right there okay great because um it's really important to feel very calm and very you know yeah very comfortable in your clothing so let's get started and uh yeah Put on your nice sweater or your, your clothes. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, I'm glad you're back. So, 
now we'll begin and I just want you to, you know, you can choose the bed over here um, or you can choose the chair if you'd like as long as you're completely comfortable with whatever position you want good and now I want you to start noticing your entire body from head to toe become aware of it sense your body's entire weight feel it and now try to feel your root chakra which is located at the base of your spine and the root chakra is so calming it is the chakra that connects you to everything on earth binds you binds you to everything on earth the trees the ground huge mountains the deep sea all of this weighs down your root chakra and connects you so matter, no matter how deep you go during this meditation your root chakra will hold you down it will hold down your physical body okay now move up and just take a few moments to maybe think about the things that that really takes up a lot of space in your head good now I'm telling you whatever thoughts you might have or whatever you were thinking about those thoughts you must now lay aside you can just let them float away let them just be washed out listen to the music let the music cleanse and purify your entire mind observe whatever thoughts that might come into your head right now just try and observe them don't judge them don't don't interact with them just let them be just let them come and go it's so easy the music is helping you to do this very good continue to just observe and let go you don't need thought you don't need them right now they can go away and just discard them don't even think about it just let them go good until you feel like your mind is brightening more and more with each second now all thoughts are being totally you know their all thoughts are discarded for
from your head. Good. Now you feel the white light. It's just purifying. That's all you can see right now, it's just white. And this light is of good. Remember to, even though you're relaxing deeply and your body is weighed down, weighed down in the root chakra, connecting you to Mother Earth and everything living in its physical form. Try now to imagine that the silver cord silver cord that connects you to your astral body is right now appearing in front of you. Your body goes even deeper. The more vividly you can imagine the silver cord, the deeper your body goes and it actually feels like not move at all. And it's okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. An amazing experience awaits you. Relax your body. Let it go. Control your mind. Control your thoughts. And each time a thought comes in, just reject it. Blankly reject it. Okay? You're doing so good. Right now, it's the your body is so heavy feels like it weighs several tons. Like of all the gravity on earth, it's dragging it down, keeping it safe, keeping it cradled in the physical world, so that nothing, nothing can happen. Trust, trust that you can now start to feel like things are buzzing a little bit and maybe you're feeling the electrical impulses, electrical feeling. Let it come to you. Let it come. Just keep relaxing. Your body slowly going into sleep paralysis. As your mind, your mind can hear me right now. Your mind is completely aware that's going on with your body. The body cannot respond, but the mind can, as your mind is 100% focused, and you're 100% aware, aware that your body is falling into sleep. You're aware, you're alert of these electrical feelings, and it's okay. Just endure it, let it be there. It's totally natural, nothing, nothing can happen. Now start to see. Silver cord is so 
so vivid right now. It's so vivid. And it's like, in your mind's eye, you try to just stand up, feel without moving, feel your hands, try to work, try to, you know, wiggle your toes, try to slowly clench your fists, flex your fingers, Now slowly try to stand up or get up. Slowly try. As you do this, you observe. Observe around you. Observe the room that you are in right now. Or if you're outside, look around you. Observe everything. And now try to stand up on your feet. And everything is so vivid. You're still constantly alert. Use your willpower. Don't let your conscience go to sleep. Don't let it. Just stand up and see that everything is so beautiful. Like the feelings you have right now, the senses you experience in, in your astral body is like a thousand times more intense. It's much, much more powerful than what the physical world can ever offer you. Try to look around and see your body, see your physical body laying down or sitting down next to you. And don't be afraid. Just try. Try and embrace this feeling, a different kind of freedom. You're so good. The silver cord is still connecting you, protecting you. Go around the bed if you want to, or you can jump back into your physical body. Okay. Feel yourself surrounded with love. Feel like all your senses in your astral body just tingling, experiencing any everything around you two hundred percent. So much power, more powerful than anything you have ever tried. Now, I want you to come back, try and feel, try and think that I want to get back to my body. I want to get back. And right now, without, without making any effort at all. You're back in your physical body. Very good. Relax a little. 
and you can easily open your eyes at the count of five and you'll be completely alert your body feels refreshed and you'll be able to remember everything that you just experienced while astral projecting One, from deep sleep paralysis. Two, slowly sensing the room around you and the physical world. Three, more alert. Four, now move and you have no trouble moving your arms or wiggle your feet and seems like all this weight has been lifted off of you and you're completely able to move and five completely awake you can open your So I hope you had a great experience. I don't know if you successfully astral projected or if you need a few more times to get it right or... Yeah, sure, you can come back and we'll do it again. And um, actually, if you want to attempt this when you get really good at it, you can attempt this with a friend and you can actually astral project together and in the astral world you'll be able to feel um, like you probably just felt if you were su uh, successful at it that feelings you have in the astral world is so much more intense and amazing than the physical world but um, yeah I really want to thank you for coming in here today and um, having this guided meditation with me on astral projecting so I want you to uh, stay focused okay keep practicing and don't be discouraged if the first few times are a little hard because it takes time for you know for the mind to unblock sometimes and um, simply because you don't trust that your astral uh, body has has senses of its own like you cannot feel cold or warm or uh, taste or smell things in your astral body and if you can it's simply because you can your your physical body is projecting the the smells or the feelings of warmth or cold through the silver cord to you when you're in the astral form so I am, um, yeah, I really wanted to know that. I think it did really well, and you were great, and you were really great at this today. So, um, bye, and have a good day.